The face pull is an extremely effective pull exercise to strengthen the weak muscles of the shoulder and upper back, particularly the lower traps, rear delts, and rotator cuff. These muscles are normally neglected and stretched out all day as we sit and slouch in front of the computer or while driving our cars. By doing the face pull, you help to fix poor posture and stability in your shoulder joints and correct your front-to-back muscular imbalances by building a bigger and stronger back. However, while the face pull seems to be a simple exercise to perform, most people do it completely wrong and this is why in this video I'll break it down step by step to show you exactly how to do it correctly. First, if you're using one rope, you're reducing the effectiveness of the exercise because one rope is usually not long enough to get your arms out as wide as you want. You want your arms to be wide enough so you can get into external rotation, so what you should do is attach another rope so you can fully pull your shoulders throughout the exercise. Next, anchor the cable at head level, pick up the two ropes, take a couple of steps back, and pull the ropes out so they're pointing straight in line with your eyes because the goal of the face pull is to pull towards your eyes. If you choose a higher anchor point, then make sure you lean your body slightly backward to maintain the rope alignment with your eyes. Do not set the pulley any lower than your head because that would turn your face pull more into an upright row, which promotes internal rotation of your shoulder and rounding of your back and poorly engages your rear delts and rotator cuffs. Now for your stance, it is best to stand square with the feet in line and hip width apart. This regulates the weight and makes it difficult to overload the exercise, forcing you to use your balance and strength. If you have bad balance, you can go with a staggered stance by keeping one foot in front of the other, but make sure the pull is balanced across your hips and shoulders. As for the grip, you want to grab with an underhand grip with your palms facing in and your thumbs backward to get an external rotation of your shoulder and activate the rotator cuff muscles. Avoid gripping overhand, as this will harm your shoulder by putting it in an elevated internal rotation position. Now, it's time to start pulling. Engage your core and pull the ropes toward your eyes. Maintain a wider position of your elbows and let your hands beat your elbows in the backward race to create an elevated external rotation for your shoulders, otherwise, if your elbows are faster, you would again trigger an unneeded internal rotation. During the movement, keep your body stable, open your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades, and allow the rotator cuff and traps to pull and help. Don't worry about your face coming into contact with the pulley since there is enough space when using two ropes. At the end of the movement, with your shoulders pulled out, your elbows and arms should be in a bicep flex position with a 90-degree elbow bend. This ensures shoulder external rotation and engages the rotator cuff, a crucial part of the exercise being done properly. Now, on the way back, you don't want to let your chest or shoulders collapse or roll forward, otherwise, you'll also be in an internal rotation position that is bad for your shoulders. Instead, imagine yourself on a pec deck machine and bring your elbows together this way while slowly extending your arms back to the starting position. Congratulations on completing one rep of your face pull. Now you can continue to perform the rest of the reps in the same controlled fashion using the tips in this video. Remember to use a weight that you can control throughout the movement that would force you to use your balance and strength to maximize time under tension of your rear delts and upper back muscles.